Okay, let's be honest. You've thought about how cool it would be to be John Wick. We all have. You know, until we realize that the whole thing started because his wife died and then he got beat up and then his dog died and his car got stolen and his friends got killed. Okay, so maybe it wouldn't be cool to be John Wick, but if we can move like he does and dress like he does and have his money, that would be nice. Well, today I'm here to help you with one of those three, so make sure you stay till the end. That way I can tell you how you can get your own John Wick style leather jacket. I'm Bill Sweet and welcome to the Dad Bod. This isn't my first time reviewing a jacket from Angel Jackets. I did a review of the BBC Sherlock jacket a little over two years ago. It's still a great jacket today. I wore it several times over this past winter. But today, I've got the Reeves Men's Vintage Brown Leather Jacket, which, as you can see here, is the John Wick jacket from the first film. She's not for sale. Oh, I love dogs. Angel Jackets has quite a few leather jackets in their collection. I'm going to put a link in the video description to them. Definitely check them out. So with this jacket, I'm Bill, and this is Ted. You know, from another universe where he ended up going to Colonel Oates Military Academy and changed his name to John Wick and became an assassin and all that. Okay, so on a real note, this jacket is made from 100% real lambskin leather. It has a shirt style collar with a zip up closure. And the zipper is a YKK zipper, which is a sign of a good quality zipper. It has two side pockets and three inside pockets. And the inner pockets are trimmed with leather. It's got buttons on the sleeves and buttons on the, uh, the sides that adjust to help the jacket fit you better if you need it. And then the inside is lined with a polyester fabric. As usual, I'm six foot three and about 275 pounds. Any taller and I might have issues with the jacket, but at my height, it fits me perfectly, the 3XL. The sleeves come to my wrist bones when my hands are down by my side and I don't have any problems moving in the jacket. It arrived fairly quickly. It took, I think, less than a week. Now, I know that a lot of other channels would show you the unboxing here, but I don't like to do that too often. I prefer to wear the products that I review. I've seen way too many channels just open a box and try the product for 10 seconds and then somehow tell you that you need to get yourself the same thing. That's not me. I've been wearing this jacket on and off for the last week or two to really get a good feel for it. I mean, how do you know if you're gonna like it after 10 seconds, let alone enough to suggest it to somebody else? So after a few weeks, I can honestly say that this is a great jacket. A lot of times leather jackets like this are gonna end up costing you twice as much, maybe even three times as much, especially some of these which are inspired by celebrities and movie characters like, you know, this one is John Wick, you got the Blade Runner jacket or Wolverine's jacket. Angel Jackets has great prices on their stuff. And for those of you who are new to owning a leather jacket or who are maybe unsure of how to properly care for it, they're gonna send you a pamphlet to help answer some of the more common questions. And they've got a really good amount of information on their website, such as like, if you're gonna be wearing this at a place which rains a lot, you're gonna to wanna to have it conditioned. And they would recommend that you find a local leather shop to have them condition it. It's not that expensive at all. And it's gonna keep your jacket looking great for years to come. Now, a common issue with buying, you know, jackets and stuff online is, you know, is this going to fit me? Well, fear not, because I'm going to go over that as well. I'm tall and I've got a slightly longer than normal arm, so finding jackets that fit me is often a chore. I got this size chart from the website, which helped, but I want to help it help you even more. So, for example, I have the 3XL. It says the shoulder is 21.5 inches, but from where? Sleeve length is 26.6 inches, again, from where? Now, if you measure from one shoulder to the other, you'll need to kind of arch the measuring tape up to the collar. That's how you get the shoulder length. If you measure from where your sleeve is sewn on, that's your sleeve length. So from the edge of your shoulder right here, which sounds simple, but there's a lot of companies that'll actually start the sleeve length right up here where it meets your collar. And then for the back, it's the bottom of the jacket. It's the, t it's the bottom of the collar 
to the bottom of the jacket. So that should help you figure out what size you need. Now, one thing that I love about leather jackets is they look better the more you wear them. They can last a lifetime if you take care of it and you wear it. So on that note, I've got to run, I'm gonna wear the jacket, but I've got the Sherlock jacket review right here. So that way you can watch it if you haven't seen it yet. Also, don't forget to click right here to subscribe to this channel. That way you don't miss out on awesome videos like this. And I'll see you next time.